Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Yes. Um I'm doing my voice this time because I think it'll be much easier to explain to you that today we're gonna be learning how to make jeans. Something like this, okay? So I'm gonna waste any more time where I learn how to make jeans and here we go. So the first thing I wanna do is go to Pinterest and just basically find jeans, okay? Like um we're gonna do like we're gonna start off with like basic basic jeans just because it's like a starter tutorial i guess um so i kind of like this is the one i did so this is what i did from this picture no wait this is not the same picture but before i did these pants i think i did like a tiktok on this so yeah so just find jeans okay but make sure the jeans are kind of like face forward like this one not these because they're way, way more like it'll be weird if these jeans look nice but just keep so pause the video find some jeans this is the jeans i found out i'm gonna be using to show you guys how to you know use it so it's gonna look fabulous maybe uh, hopefully it looks good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my template here so once you have your jeans make sure it looks like you have it open so what we're gonna do is we're gonna like copy the link image and then we're gonna go to layer URLs layer and then just copy it here so you don't even have to save it to your pc just copy the link to it and it'll be better so we'll be doing the front first so just take the cutout tool go to the magic mask make sure it's on remove mask and then boom got rid of the white the white background <laughs> Um, and then go to the shape mask and go to the same thing to make sure it's a rectangle and then you're just gonna like Make sure it like cuts out to like right here Something like that. Or if you want to cut a little bit more and go ahead and do so Boom, okay, beautiful. Okay Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the eraser tool it, you can pick whatever size you want uh, don't pick it like a big size and just erase this part so it like shows um the front see like the front you know so just erase be careful with what you're erasing so don't I like mess anything up so just erase 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 what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and then we're gonna go to free transform and then we're gonna like squish it down. That, oh my god, wait. <laughs> okay, no, hold on. Okay, so basically just like smush it down, make sure like you could do like up to here maybe. You know, like um you do something like that. Uh, and then you do something like that. Like, make sure like these ends here touch this. Okay, make sure the ends touch this. This isn't touched. See, it's like a little bit off, so we have to make it more wider. Okay. Boom. Done. If you want to make it like a little bit bigger, then go ahead. And okay um see like this is in the middle i think we are all good okay boom all right now we transform i'm gonna put this like underneath um well, let me just delete this because oh god no i don't there's a fan to add all right um just delete that just delete it okay so then you can like i know it looks kind of weird but it's okay just go to the eraser tool and just erase this part you know, like erase this part right here. All right, boom, look at that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that this jean layer and we're gonna like move it right here. Just you could uh, you could flip it. If you don't want to flip it, that's your choice. But I'm gonna flip it. Um, just oh god, I think I messed it up. Wait, oh I didn't mess it up, but it's just I need to get the right angle. 
I don't think I got the right angle really. I mean the right like thing. Okay, beautiful. Boom, done. I think I would say we're we're done with the back part. All right, boom. That part's done. If you want to like rename it or something, you can do that if you want to. Um, yeah. Uh, what I would do is I would like go to the color picker and like I don't know, pick this, like this color that like it's near the button and just oh god, that's a okay. Uh, and then just erase like erase it like that. Just erase it like that. So, so, um, yeah, just erase it. <laughs> just erase it and it won't be like too noticeable i guess you could say so just like erase the button i mean no one's gonna really notice the back part so it'll be fine um okay now the next thing you have to do is we have to do the sides right here right so you're probably wondering how we're gonna do the sides oh my days okay well i will show you how to do that um you are going to copy, I mean, wait, no, wait, you have to duplicate this layer again, and then just move around so you know where it is. Um, then you're going to go to the cutout tool again, and then go to the remove from mask, and then you're going to cut it where it's like right here maybe here i would say right and then you would have to like put it here i i think i don't really remember wait okay yeah you put it here i believe you put it here and then you just put a free transform and then you just like mess around with it like you know like mess around with it if it i know if it has low quality i am sorry but that's just gonna that's just how it's gonna turn out um i can make it bigger as well oh god i lost it where'd it go okay boom boom it's right here okay this looks fabulous not gonna lie don't worry don't worry we're going to Oh, that looks weird. That doesn't look right. Okay, uh. Let me just do that, do that. Yeah, that looks. Let me just. I know, it looks like. It looks. Uh, hmm. What should I do? Because I never really have this problem. Give me a second, okay? Me okay, I basically kind of fixed it, I guess. Uh, I think this will be fine. So just do the same thing. Once you're done with this area, like duplicate it, uh, and then press the horizontal button and then just put it on the other side and then you're done with that. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this bottom area, okay? Like this bottom area, okay? So for the bottom area, we are going to obviously bring back the jeans the beautiful lovely jeans and then we're just gonna do the same thing we're gonna add we're gonna do add to mask not remove so then we're just gonna do something like this watch 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 and learn boom because it's like the bottom area of this so it'll be like better if you do like that put it underneath your template so it'll be better to see what you're doing uh just Change the size, obviously. Just change the size. Uh, I don't know about it. Okay. So, just do something like that. Make it big. Oh my god. Sometimes it looks really annoying when you have to uh, do this part because it's like, I don't really know. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got it. We got it in the oh no, I accidentally uh, rotated it a little bit. It's okay, they won't know it. So when you're done, just press it 
and it's pressed OK, and it'd be fine. Uh, just put this, like, I don't know, put it, like, underneath the layer, like, all the way underneath. So, oh, why does it look better now? Okay. You know, all right. Now the legs, okay? The legs. All right, boom. Let me get the legs. Let me get the legs. Let me get the legs. Okay. So, we're going to do this leg first. Well, this is, like, really identical, so it'll be much easier to do. So we're gonna kind of like squeeze like a little bit like that, and then you're gonna take the same thing, add to mask, make sure it's a rectangle and the shape mask, and you're gonna go from here all the way down. Boom! Beautiful. Make sure it's underneath here, and then go to free transform. And let me just rotate this a little bit because it is supposed to be straight. Straight, bro. Straight. So just make it like this. Oh, see, it's like a little, see, it's like transparency right here. Let's just do that. Boom. Okay, well, not too much, but just enough where it just fills up the whole thing you know or if you want to like just do this and then like delete it like uh, i don't know let's say it's like this right oh god for example if it's like this you can just leave it like this or do and just uh, erase this but for me i would probably do the same thing but let me get to, um okay it's okay i'm just sometimes it's hard to do it like this Sometimes. So sometimes it's hard, but it's okay. Beautiful. All right, now we are going to just delete it, go remove from mass, and then just boom. Perfect. Oh my god, isn't that like amazing? Doesn't look so amazing so far. Oh my god, I think we're doing a good, a good job. So um, you can. Duplicate it and then just like duplicate this layer and then just put it like right here. Wait, make sure you flip it. It's gonna look weird. Oh no, wait, what did I do with the other one? Did I delete it? Wait. Okay, then what happened to the other one then? Okay, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. It's annoying, but it's okay. All right, boom. Just make sure it's kind of the same thing. All right. There we go. Boom. Done. Don't want the front part. Then we gotta bring... Okay, this, this, this is gonna be a lot of bringing the picture back. But I'm sorry. We're gonna have to do it for the greater good, y'all. But, um... So just... Peek those... Same thing. Same tools, if you remember. Because I don't want to be annoying repeating myself all over again. And then you can just... Do... Like this. Boom. And you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna repeat it uh, at least um, like six more times. Six times, maybe. Let's look at that beautiful jean texture right there. Oh my god, look at that. Beautiful. Oh my god. Wow. Isn't that just beautiful? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god. I am jealous. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my god, it looks so good. I'm excited how this is gonna turn out. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Very excited how it's gonna turn out. So yeah, just make sure, oh my god. Just make sure. Um, okay, it should maybe be something like this. If you wanna like do something like that, where it has like the little line. So it connects, you can definitely do that. Okay, that's I think that's what I'm gonna do. Not gonna lie. And then just repeat the same thing. You can like flip it and then just do the same thing. Boom, look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. These jeans are gonna look so gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry. Um uh, Anyway, so you're, you're gonna, so then just to make it easier, okay, to make it easier for y'all, just merge down the layers 
just these three, just these three, these, blah, these three layers, right? Just these three. And then you'll duplicate it, right? And then you'll flip it. And then see, I'll make it much easier for you. So you don't have to like keep like replacing it and just like doing it all over again. Cause that's so annoying to do. But yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. And just smudge the layers, obviously. Smudge the layers. Um so merge the layers all together and you will get beautiful beautiful jeans oh god this will take forever boom let's just name it jeans boom you have your whole jean oh my god this one looks so pretty oh my god okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh make well i want to say make but um obviously we need shoes if you don't want to add shoes for example right like if you don't if you don't want to make shoes right go to the shape mask make go to a circle right and then wait that's the wrong thing go to the remove from mask my bad and then just do like something like this okay well let's eat let's uneven but like you know what i mean like you could do something like this like that you know, and then you'll have like no shoes, so you can do something like that. Or can you can use the rectangle and then just make it look like this, you know, something like that. But I'm gonna be adding shoes, so I'll be right back. I found some shoes. Uh, you can. This is an asset, so because I don't really know how to make shoes yet, I'll learn soon. Maybe I don't know when. But this credits to Hawk Moth for making these shoes. They are like, they look fabulous. So Hawk Moth, good job with these shoes. They look beautiful. All right, we have the shoes now. So just name it shoes so you don't get confused with it. With what, oh, what image is this gonna be? Now, we're almost done, okay? We're almost done. Now we're gonna do the shading. So we're gonna do the shading base. So if y'all know how to shade, then you can skip this video. But if y'all do not know how to, sh uh, do not, do not, bleh, do not know how to shade, then listen up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the brush tool right here and make sure it's on right here, right here. Boom, look at that, make sure it's right here, okay? And oh wait, make sure it's 100 because yeah, um, make sure this is black, okay? Make sure it's black, all right? And then you're just going to create boxes like this, okay? The beautiful boxes, you know, make sure it, you know, like it looks something like this, you know? So just keep following my lead. I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. Um, and then just do something like this. Boom. So you just make, just basically just follow the lines right here. See, like follow that line, all right? For the legs, just do it like just trace on the black lines, okay? But when you're doing pants, follow like that, all right? All right, I'm gonna, uh, so basically it's the same thing, just follow like that, boom, 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 boom. And I'm gonna do a little speed design of the shading. So, see y'all soon. Hey, boom, your shading should look something like this, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the layer, if you wanna rename it, rename it. Um, so right click on it. The blend mode should be overlay, okay? I know it looks the same, but that's how I do it, okay? Then exit out here, go to filter, go to blur, and then just blur it like this. See, look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful, look at that fading. 
that oh my god so gorgeous not gonna lie so gorgeous so gorgeous so gorgeous oh my lord oh my god okay so let's i usually do like 64 i think 64 is a good one so just apply that and then just go to the eraser tool because like we have to get ready to get rid of this you know uh, these stupid ads are just not it like no thanks like no 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 we don't want ads from you you companies go my all right boom just make sure you get everything and then you should be done like this and then you just play with the opacity so i think we'll go with uh 82 for this one all right so we're not done yet okay um now we're gonna do the highlights okay the highlight so let's name it highlight and then oh wait i spelled it wrong it's okay all right then what you're gonna do is go to the right here and go to white make sure it's white all right so then we're gonna go to the same thing the brush right i'm just gonna scribble like this like that okay so it's just scribble let's do like a little zigzag or just like just scribble it play play around with it you know like just scribble the jeans inside the jean area so make sure it doesn't don't do this because that, that's a big no-no do it in the jeans all right so yes and then just scribble 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 I will do speed design once again of me highlighting. So let's go. Okay, boom. Your highlights should look something like this. So then we're gonna see the the shading, right click, make sure it's on overlay, and look at that look at that beautifulness okay then go to filter we're the same thing go to blur and you just blur it out so it has like that nice jean highlight like look at that isn't that so beautiful oh my god wait till we get to wait until we get to the wrinkles that's the best part all right so just uh do something like this, you know, just play around with the highlight. Once you're done, do the same thing as we did for the shading. And you see these little white parts, just erase them, okay? Erase, 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 erase them. So when you upload them, you're gonna see the little white highlights. And we do not want that. Because it's gonna look so weird and you're gonna so triggered and it's gonna look ridiculous. So I don't think there's anything else. So let's play with the opacity. I'm gonna do 76, maybe. No, I'm gonna do 67. Boom, look at that. All right, now the last and final part of the jeans is the wrinkles. So I'll show you how to do my wrinkles. Um, a friend actually taught me how to do this wrinkle. I used to do it very differently, but I think the way that they do it is better now. Okay, so kind of change it a bit. So I'm gonna go with the pen tool, go with sketchy, make sure it's size one, and make sure the amount is 30 and the opacity is 100. And then just do something like this. Look at that, beautiful. If you can't see it, I'm sorry. But it should just play around with the wrinkles. You know, like, do something like that, like that. You know, just play around with the wrinkles, you know. This part won't really matter, so just do whatever you want, you know. Just don't, don't put too much wrinkles, like, for the area that's gonna show the most, you know. So, just don't put too much wrinkles onto that so basically just create some lines 
some nice lines, all right? Create some beautiful lines. Uh, here we go, say here we go with the pants. Uh, and then just the same with that, the same with that, that. Boom, boom. Look at that, beautiful. It doesn't have to be the same exact thing, just do whatever you want. All right, just, just, just do this. Tie rather speed design. Let's go. All right, boom. We are finished, uh, finally done with the first part of the wrinkles. Um, so then we're gonna do the same thing. Copy the link. If you wanna rename it wrinkles, then go ahead and go to the overlay. I was gonna say blend, go to, go to blend. Yeah, go to blend mode then go to overlay, but yeah. And then do the same thing. Just go to blur and blur it like that maybe, you know? I can't really see it here because it's like really dark, but. All right, boom. Something like that, okay? And then copy it, copy the, I mean, all my days. Duplicate the wrinkle layer, put it to a normal, go to adjustment and then go to invert, right? And then just go to adjustment, go to the brightness and contrast and make it and do this twice all right do this twice and just make it like really white okay and then i'm gonna move this around okay they are gonna move this around so, so then we just uh play with the opacity do not just make sure it's none don't change it to overlay or anything So, you could just do the opacity, you know. Um, you could also adjust the wrinkles for the black part. Um, and then, you do something like this. They so just erase the wrinkle part, like just in case if it gets any other. Wait, am I doing the wrong layer? <gasps> no, I'm doing the wrong layer. Whoopsie. I. I don't know what happened. I, I got messed up on the wrong layers. Uh, but it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so then just lower the opacity for like the white wrinkle part. Or or you can do the same thing with the the black part right here. So just lower that a little bit. I'll do like 60. And then, boom! We are finally done with the jeans. Look how beautiful it is. It's just gorgeous, it's amazing, beautiful jeans, and this is how you make them. Now, we're going to upload it and we are going to try it out. So, I'll see you guys soon. All right, y'all, the jeans are finished. Here is the final result in 3D. Okay, I probably, I think I'm gonna put this on sale maybe because who wanna want to buy these lovely, lovely jeans. Um, so yeah, here are the results. And here's me trying them on. So just give me some time. Boom, look at that. Look at that, beautiful jeans. Even though I like literally hate wearing jeans in person, they look beautiful. So there you go. That's a tutorial on how to make jeans. See y'all next video. Bye.